Hi there, Wendy. Yeah, that is Wendy. I remember you. Let's run away before the man comes back. Before we go, we should find that dangerous thing and take it with us. It's for his own good. Uh oh. That dangerous thing is a gun. I know that much. He was holding it to his head and muttering to himself earlier. Uh, I'm, I'm nervous about this. Wendy, are you gonna be okay? I'm fine now. Let's go. Let us go. Shall we? Hmm. Okay. This is worrying me. This is why I have my weapon. My epic knife. Oh, apparently the knife is the weapon of choice for the Mirror Maid boss, so I'm glad I kept it. I, I'm scared to imagine what would have happened if I didn't use it. But, I'm nervous. Wendy, are we going this way? I'm gonna hope we're going this way, because if I leave you alone, I don't want you to get killed by that creepy guy. Yeah, she's- Oh, it's that creepy guy! Joshua. Joshua. We have to run. I, I think this is a chase scene. Just- Oh, I'm gonna save. Save. Saving would be a good idea, because I have a feeling that something might happen soon. Like, we just stole that guy's gun, so I might have to kill him with a gun, and I'm terrible with guns, if you guys have ever watched anything I've done with guns. I mean, I'm okay in Resident Evil 5 and all, but come on. <laughs> I'm not- I'm a melee- I'm a melee pe kind of person. Or a homing spell. I like homing spells much better. Run, Jennifer, run! Wait, is this a dead end? I think she went this way. Yes, yeah, she did. I'm so glad. Now we can always be together. Say, I have a favor I wanted to ask. Will you trade your teddy bear with my brooch? Hee hee, I'm so happy. We should give him a name. How about Joshua? Joshua, yes, that's a wonderful name. I'll cherish him as much as I cherish you. Say, so, let's renew our pact. Everlasting true love, I am yours. So... I'm confused, though. If she's really making that pact with Jennifer, then why... Why does that creepy guy keep saying, Joshua, Joshua? Did he want a little boy instead of a little girl? That could be it. That's that's actually a good theory. I don't know, though. I'm hoping the rest of this chat... Okay, now we're back in October. Rag Princess. Wonderful. Now, I think we're going to end up having to deal with the Princess of the Red Rose. Someone was holding her hand. Oh. You should go back and hang around with Amanda where you belong. Uh, I have a feeling this is going to have to do with Amanda. Which bothers me, to say the least. Well, let's take a look at the little princess real quick, because that was a big key storyline part, so. Might as well see if anything updated. Nope. I think when we meet the Princess of the Red Rose, something will update. I wanted, I wanted to see how that story ends. You know? October 1930. Rag Princess Sews. Uh oh. This looks like it's gonna be Amanda's chapter. 
So now we can see what that little fat girl really thinks of us. And she hates us, I can tell. Wait, 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 wait. The, the broad. This is an emergency. Joshua the bear is missing. Search teams are on the lookout. The person who finds him will re receive a red crown and will be invited to join the aristocrat club. Red crown aristocrats. Yeah, I see this. It seems like everyone but me and Amanda are members of this club. So Amanda's going to be out for us. Anyway, let's put some stuff in the bin. Because we have, we have some items. Ooh, we get something from the uh, clothespins now. Shortbread. Healing. Um, socks. We have four socks that we can put in. Yes, we have enough to get an item from the socks. While still having one left. Do we still need the uh, half of the doll? I don't think we do. Well, no, we don't. We I don't think we actually ever found something from that. Hmm. I think I'm still gonna toss it away. Anyway, now we're done putting that in. White chocolate. <gasps> yes. Awesomeness. Just awesome. I'm gonna drop this. Yes. Um, equip this. Find this. Go brown. Yeah, ribbons or chocolates. Come on. I need chocolate. Chocolate's gonna be nice. Brown? Are you on something? We can't go in here. It's a wall. Fine, be that way. Marble, go. Brown, we cannot go in there. Whatever, Brown. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Hmm. Let's check the rankings. Nah, that still says filthy. Well, I'm thinking that the storyline wants us to go say hi to Miss Amanda, everyone's best friend forever. So, I think we shall. No, Brown, we're not looking for that anymore. We're going to go see Amanda. Oh, here's someone. Why would, why would someone steal something so precious to the princess? Why? Because Amanda wants something. Amanda's... Stupid little girl that's gonna get us all killed by a stupid princess. And the fact that she doesn't have her little bear anymore means she doesn't have a toy to play with. But wait, does that mean Wendy is the princess? It's a creepy guy. What are you doing on my airship? I'm sure Joshua will like the story I wrote for him. Okay, creepy guy, have fun with that. There's no Joshua, he's a bear. The Rag Princess. Uh oh. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Rag Princess. And it has a fat girl. Hmm, I think this has to do with Amanda. Once upon a time, there was a girl who sewed rags, day in and day out. The stench of the rags seeped into her clothes. Her, we her stepsisters wore beautiful dresses and went to the ball. The girl stayed home, and her jealousy festered. One day, a fairy godmother came and cast a spell upon the girl and said, Sew yourself an ash-gray dress, then you can go to the ball like your stepsisters. The girl patched together the sooty rags, and that's how she became the rag princess, a very stinky princess indeed. She stuck up the whole town, in fact. No girl who stunk so no girl who stunk so would be allowed into the ball. I'll make that girl wear this awful dress myself. And thus the rag princess and the girl in the rag dress became